All right, all right, everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about pre-qualification, pre-approval, and mortgage commitment. All right, let's go. So pre-qualification is basically a verbal commitment. Now they may, they may put it in writing and says a pre-qualification letter. You've been pre-qualified, meaning I didn't check what you told me, but you verbally told me how much you make. I may or may not have run your credit. Uh, you verbally told me what your credit is and how much money you have in the bank. Boom, you're pre-qualified. Very easy to do. I can get you a pre-qualification letter right now that says, based on the information that you gave me, told me, you're pre-qualified. Now, the pre-approval letter is definitely the letter we want to look at with a uh, as being for sellers, of course, and, and as agents. And that's really where you want to be because in case there's a problem or something hidden or you find your dream home, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm not pre-approved. Pre-approval means you've been qualified. You proved what you said. You proved your income by sending a pay stub. It's a simple thing. You proved your income by sending your tax returns. Very easy to do electronically. You maybe even got a verification of employment filled out. The lender did through your boss, through your work. We've proved information. How much money do you have? You showed a bank statement. Again, this isn't a lot of hard work. Sometimes you gotta go and log into a website, oh my gosh, and create a PDF, gee whiz. <laughs> um, screenshots work on a phone. You know, it's a, a, a higher level and that's the letter we want. That's where we wanna start shopping. That's the letter sellers wanna look at. Now, mortgage commitment usually comes once we're under agreement, after we're down the road, we went through inspections, we had an appraisal, the commitment is then given a couple weeks, a week or two or three, or depending on how soon settlement is, as soon as we can get it before settlement. That means the mortgage company, those giving you the money have committed and you have been fully underwritten that they're definitely going to give you the money. I'm committed to giving you the money. Assuming everything remains the same, God forbid you, you remain in your job, you don't lose your, your job or anything like that. Pre-qualification is fine. Uh, definitely you want to start that. And none of these cost any money. Now, the mortgage commitment may cost you money, but you're already in the transaction. Now, there are some lenders, hint, hint, wink, wink, that will give you a mortgage commitment, no cost involved. That is huge. Now, all you need is a house. Now, that's big. And some of them will even give a guarantee. A couple of lenders that we work with, actually have a $10,000 guarantee that says this person, this individual, these people, this entity is, uh, is I am committed to giving them the money and I give you seller a $10,000 guarantee that we're going to settlement. Again, barring nothing major happening. So if you'd like to hear more about it, or you have a comment about it, or you'd like to say uh, what I did great or not so great, just be nice. Uh, I'd be happy to have you do it. Please hit that comment up below. If you'd like to uh, reach out via email, text, calling is fine. Uh, please hit subscribe as well while you're at it, while you're clicking buttons. And have a great day, everybody.